Today, we're going to learn how to divide large numbers using base 10 blocks. What is long division? A long division problem is a division problem in which the dividend is too large to efficiently use objects, drawings, or even fact families to solve. For example, in the problem 396 divided by 3, the dividend, 396, is too large to draw a picture. And we aren't familiar with that fact family. I don't have 396 divided by 3 memorized. But don't worry. There are many strategies for solving problems like this. One is called equal sharing. We'll learn about this strategy using base 10 blocks. Let's use base 10 blocks to divide 369 divided by 3. We'll start by making the number 369 using base 10 blocks. To make 369, I need 3 hundreds blocks, 6 tens blocks, and 9 ones blocks. I'm going to divide this into 3 equal groups. So let's go ahead and draw 3 equal groups. Now I'll start dividing. I'll divide up my hundreds blocks, just like I'm dealing cards. One for you one for you, and one for you. Now I'll divide up my tens blocks. One for you, one for you, one for you. It looks like I have enough to go around again. One for you, one for you, one for you. Finally, I'll divide up my ones blocks, just like dealing cards, keeping it even and giving each group the same amount, like this, one for you, one for you, one for you, another one for you, another one for you, another one for you, and another one there, another one there, and another there. The answer to the division problem is the number you have created in each group. So you only have to look at one of your groups to find the answer. Each group is showing the number 123. So 369 divided by 3 is 123. Let's look at another example. This time, we're going to use base 10 blocks to divide 565 divided by 5. So I'll start by making the number 565. That's 5 hundreds blocks, 6 tens blocks, and 5 ones. I'm dividing this into 5 equal groups. So I'll draw five groups. And then just like I did in the last example, I'll start dividing up my hundreds. I can put 100 in each group. Now I'll divide up my tens. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. Hmm. What should I do with this extra 10? I don't want to put it in any of the groups because then they won't be equal. And remember, the groups have to be equal. Instead, I'm going to break it apart or unbundle it and turn it into ones. A 10 is really just a group of 10 ones. So let's turn that 10 into 10 more ones. Now I have 15 ones. I had five and I just got 10 more. So now I have 15 ones to divide up. And when I divide up my 15 ones evenly into five groups, I see that I can put three in each group. Now remember to find my answer. I only have to look at one of these groups because they're all the same. Each group is showing the number 113. So 565 divided by five is 113. Let's try one more. This time we'll use the base 10 blocks to divide 424 by 3. We'll start by making the number 424 and drawing our three groups. Now let's start dividing. Let's divide the hundreds up. One for you, one for you, one for you. Hmm, I seem to have an extra hundred this time. That's okay, I can just unbundle it or break it apart and turn it into tens. A hundred is really just a group of 10 tens. So let's get rid of that hundred and add 10 more tens. 
Now I'm going to divide up my tens. I had 12 tens. I can give each group four of them to keep it even. And now I just have to divide the ones. One for you, one for you, one for you. Hmm, I seem to have an extra one. That is my remainder. This problem has a remainder. I have 141 in each group with one left over. So 424 divided by three is 141 remainder one. Here are some reminders to help you get started using this equal sharing strategy. Create the dividend, which is the big number, using base 10 blocks. Then evenly divide the hundreds, tens, and ones. Think about this like dealing cards. You may need to unbundle, changing a hundred into 10 tens or a 10 into 10 ones so that you can keep dividing. But if you end up with any leftover ones, that's going to be your remainder.